we're gonna have to do that next that's good that's gonna be what if else statements and it's gonna be everything's gonna be inside this function so I'm gonna hit return here everything is gonna be in this function so we're gonna actually put it we're almost putting other statements inside here we're gonna put an if statement I'm gonna hit return twice and we're gonna do an if condition and what an if condition means it sets a condition if something happens or some property is set or whatever whatever condition you set I'm gonna put in if conditions always go in parentheses and we're basically gonna say if eyes MC and there's a property called hit test object and you can start typing hit and it says hit area and there's hit test object and then it starts another parentheses and what is the hit test object it's gonna be drop MC it's basically the drop target they used to have another property called called drop target years ago but now they have hit test object and then we we close off that parentheses but we still have to put another parentheses to close off the entire one so there's a parentheses inside the parentheses so make sure you have two pairs of parentheses and then what we're gonna do is we're not stopping it yet we're putting a curly bracket so we have we're gonna have two sets of curly brackets inside our big or outside curly brackets for the whole function and what we're gonna do is basically say if this condition is met if eyes is over top of drop MC what's gonna happen well two things are gonna happen one thing that's gonna happen is they're gonna lock into a, their new position and that position is we wrote we wrote down those it was like 420 for the X and 250 for the Y so the way that gets written it's eyes MC dot X so that's what's gonna happen first when it hits there it's gonna lock it into place and the third thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um, now I should go back and look at this this text field is called feedback underscore text so I'm gonna go back here to my actions and this is gonna be the third thing that there's only two things that happen but there there's um, the X and Y are, are two statements but we're gonna do feedback underscore txt and then we're gonna add another thing dot text it's actually a property this dot text is a property that means the value that's going to go inside that dynamic text box so the box itself can have like sizes and uh, you know anything like that but text it means the value inside sometimes for forms they'll have a value that means that the value of that of that field so this means what's going inside there and we're gonna just put equals and we'll just set a value and we're gonna put good job and you could put in whatever you want and it'll show up in green because it's a string and you gotta make sure that you close off the quotes or else it it won't work everything will be green after that so this is basically a string that's gonna say good job so that box is gonna put in as its text property is gonna say good job and that's what's gonna happen after the, after the if now for the else we actually if there's if that doesn't happen then there's what's called an else condition the if condition and then there's an else that's basically what happens if the if isn't met and the way we're gonna write this is else and then it also gets two curly brackets so we have four brackets here two for the if two for the else and then there's the finished one for the function and I'll make sure that I that I move that up a little bit but you gotta make sure you have even numbers of curly brackets so what's gonna happen to the else if we don't get the the eyes on there well I copy it. it's it, it involves the same things that we're dealing with here except just different locations and different words so the eyes will go back to the original position which was 108 and the Y was like 130 that's its original location and you could go here and put a put a comment and just put original location if you want any notes to help you original location and here you could put you know location on face just so you know what those things are and instead of good job it's gonna say try again or bad job or whatever some kind of negative feedback and then there's a lot more we could do with this but this is just a little intro to our if else now I'm looking at something here now we have two two for our if two for our else and then two for our fun now we have an extra one here this would have threw an error I just noticed it's at the end Looks like we have an extra bracket here so two for our else 
two for if and then two for the function as a whole. And, and if you click on here, it'll kind of, what it tries to do is it tries to sh show these as pairs. So you know that's the opening and closing for the function. This is the opening and closing for the if, and this is the opening and closing for the else. So I, gu I guess that helps a little bit uh, of writing it like that. And then we have our one function up here for the start. So, so basically what's going to happen is the eyesMC, once you leave your mouse up, it's going to run the eyes drop function. The eyes drop function basically says stop dragging, first thing. And before, and then right after that, before it ends the function, it says, by the way, if you're on the hit test object, do this, say good job and put it on the snowman's face. And if you don't, put it back to its original location and say try again. So that's kind of what's happening with the if else. So I'm going to save what I have and I'm going to test it and see how this thing works. I'm going to drag it just over here and it doesn't work and it says try again. And this time I'm going to drag it to his face. I'll drag it to his chest. And if that doesn't work either. It doesn't work when it goes on his hat. How about on his face? Perfect. It says good job. So that's all we want. That's how drag and drop works. And that's how if conditional statements work. Just have to remember there's actually curly brackets inside of curly brackets. They have to be even, just like the parentheses inside of parentheses. So that's the that's a little simple drag and drop. And we'll be able to do, you know, some neat things with that. And we're able to copy and paste a lot of code to make it to make it quicker. The only thing different here is we use mouse down and mouse up instead of click. And we also used a new method called start drag and stop drag. And we used a property called hit test object, which allows you to kind of put things in a particular position. We also had the XY properties, and we also had the text properties, which allows you to put strings inside a dynamic text field. So that's our drag and drop EX5.